Today's video, we're going to talk about running ads on Target.com, the sponsored product ads, as well as a number of other different types of sponsored ads you can run on Target.com. Now, this does... First of all, this is very profitable, just like the title says, for any business that's on Target.com. Now, that is, you can't run ads on Target.com unless your products are already approved to run on Target.com. And if you need some help with that, watch my very last video that I published about how to get on the platform. There's a specific process I have lined out how to get on the platform. But with running ads, there's no uh, individual self, at the, as they call it, self-serve ad platform like on Walmart.com or Amazon.com where you could just advertise it, you know, to run your product listings on that platform to get you some, you know, more clicks on your ads. Uh, what Target does, you could still run ads on Target.com, but you have to do it through their separate kind of, I don't want to call it company, but separate department, and an outside uh, partner that you could then run your ads on Target.com. So it's a whole separate thing, basically. If you wanna run ads in addition to what you're able, able to and, and going to show up with and on uh, uh, via the regular organic listings that you have on target.com. Uh, just like on Amazon, I'll start off by quickly saying as well that on amazon.com, if you run ads, you're gonna get more organic sales because the algorithm that decides if you're ranked highly a lot of it has to do, uh, is dependent on the current amount of reviews. So um, with that, the t we've witnessed that on Target.com it's similar. You can run ads at your listings, Target.com is going to take you more seriously because you have more, you know, just general traction around your products. And at the very least, can like on Amazon, you can spend, even if it's not profitable for you, which it should be anyway, you could run ads at your listings to get things kickstarted. So I would recommend that even if you don't think you need ads, you need you know you'll get kickstarted faster and you're going to get more traction way earlier than if you were to simply wait for target.com to run your stuff more aggressively. Given their algorithms trying to show the products that are the most relevant and it's not going to take big risks, it's only going to slowly test you out at first unless you run some ads at it. So with that said, if you are already on the Target Plus Marketplace, you've been approved, and you can get approved rather easily if you just have something that will work good on Target's platform, on Target.com, that will help Target.com get more customers because you're on the platform, i.e. you sell a branded product that people seek out on their own, because that means people will seek it out on Target.com as well, or it just sells it outsells other people in your category currently on Amazon or whatever. So it's a proven product that will be a category beater, which I talked about in my previous video. So with that said, if you are already on Target Plus Marketplace, you can ramp up your sales using the Roundel. Uh, uh, again, I don't know how to call it if, if it's the uh, platform or whatnot, but basically, Roundel is a department or part of Target that will put together and run ads for you if you want to advertise on the Target.com platform. So you contact them, they build your ads, they run them for you and give you a reporting on saying how well they do. It's a little bit obviously different than what most other social media platforms, e-commerce platforms do. Um, if you're going to run regular uh, product ads, which are the best performing ads that you can run via Target, the Credo, so there's other platforms that can do it, but the Credo Retail Media Platform, as it's called, is where you can get the product, uh, targeted product ads on Target.com, which are basically just like sp the uh, sponsored product ads on Amazon.com, i.e. somebody searches for skin lotion, you have a product ad that shows your skin lotion product will show up then in the actual within the search results of the products that are listed there which gets you a very very relevant buyer which is why they're so profitable why you want to do them but you have to do that's 
self-serve as they call and it's self-serve through this credo retail media platform which you get on their platform and then use that to get your uh, product ad listings on target.com whereas other types of ads that you're going to run display ads slash banner ads on target.com that's done through the, the roundel program where they'll actually put together your ads and run your ads for you on the platform themselves there's no quote unquote self-serve platform so anyway in terms of though what works if you're going to make the profits here what works what doesn't work well this is what the main focus of this video actually is on uh, by default the target product ads as they're called will work almost always work at least at some bid or level so all ad lot on all ads on the internet will work generally at some level the question is can you pay two dollars a click or one penny per click in order to get a return and sometimes on certain platforms you can't once you bid so low into where the click would be worth it for your brand you're not eligible to show anymore so you may not be able to get a return but because the ads are so well performing in the categories that you're in and where it should show up there's almost never going to be a time where you're not going to get this to work so you want to crank up or get your go over to get your uh, credo retail media platform spun up run some targeted product ads for your brand now second to that what will almost always work as well to go along with that is the target display ads which is done through the roundel uh, department or or platform if you will or service if you will at target and specifically because you could run category listing so which really just just takes the, pro the t uh, product ads to another level so if, if going back to the skincare brand if you're trying to advertise to people looking for like low hand lotion you have a hand lotion of course you can have your product at uh, your uh, target product ads they're showing your picture and you know your reviews and everything of that lotion but you should also have a banner ad that shows up because there's a spot for a banner ad on the category uh page as well um slash search results and you also would want to run that to expand whatever you're making with the target product ads already so start with the target product ads get a, your return out of that then contact uh target via the roundel uh, platform and then run your targeted display ads targeting the same places essentially you have your product ads show up category pages search results pages in your category of the products that you're selling should work and furthermore there'll be if you offer a lot of products just take your top sellers and run all your banner ads just to the top sellers so in other words it just takes whatever your products are working now via your targeted your target product ads and just amplifies get you more traffic to the listings that are already working okay once you've done that though by the way you can actually uh, look into uh, through the roundel department uh, run YouTube and other social media ads which this is totally unique out of anything else that I've seen it's just very smart the targets doing this which could convert better than your own social ads because of the added trust it brings your brand so what I mean by this is is what uh, Target will do via their Roundel service is on their social media, on their Facebook, on their YouTube account, they'll advertise your product on via their social media, which takes the trust, if you will, the tar of the Target brand that Target has and lends itself to your products. So if you because I've talked to a couple other associates in the ad space because I've run an ad agency talked to other agency owners the other people that I talked to one guy in particular had said that they had a, a hair regrowth product that did not work running YouTube ads or at least very well and running Facebook ads but when they when they went ahead with this program and started running the hair regrowth product on you on the YouTube channel of Target and via the Facebook account of Target it actually produced a net positive ROI for the brand which makes a lot of sense makes perfect sense 
if Target selling a, a hair regrowth product, it has to have been vetted by Target, right? Otherwise, they wouldn't let let you, the company that sell it, right? So it's a great way to take a product in a category that doesn't have a lot of trust and make it have trust. And so instead of investing your money on YouTube or Facebook on your own accounts, invest it with Target via this uh, Roundel um, service that Target has, and you might be able to get get it to work or certainly work a lot better than advertising it via your own account. It's the same deal as I mentioned before on Facebook ads. We can get four times the results on a Facebook account, Facebook ads account. If we can advertise something that looks like it's coming from another person on Facebook versus our brand. So you create in that situation a, uh, a fan page for an individual customer you have and then you have the ad look like it's it's still an ad but it looks like the product the ad is being it's a actually being a post shared by an individual person on Facebook and because it doesn't look like an ad and it looks like it came from a person on Facebook it'll work at least four times better than looking like it came from a company because people don't trust ads but they they 100% do trust independent reviews from people on Facebook so this is kind of like the same thing given that People will trust what Target sells because it's Target. Uh, so with that said, and then similar to that, Target has a bunch of different ads that you can do through this Roundel service, um, uh, of which you can also run search ads on Google but, uh, the same way, in that instead of running a Google shopping campaign, you know, where you have your product and the price directly underneath it, which is a shopping ad, on Google because there's the text ads and then the picture ad with the price. That's the shopping. The text ads are called search ads. Well, they let you get on the shopping uh, you know, section of Google via their ad account that they have set up with Google. And so instead of, you, which you could do that yourself, show up in the shopping place yourself with your own account, and there's certain situations you'd make a good return or a return just to be able to get a return at all having Target run it via their product feeds, their account, because your product now says Target underneath it, which gets more trust than XYZ Corp, which doesn't have the same trust, because people are gonna look at who's selling it before they click on it many times. Furthermore, when somebody clicks on it and they get to Target's website, they're more likely to convert because they trust Target more, and they're more likely to give the credit card to target than some random company they'd never heard of, particularly for co uh, companies that sell a product under $100 in cost. This is kind of ubiquitous. If you sell, it has been for a while, if you sell something for 20, 30 bucks, you'll usually make more money instead of sending traffic to your shopping cart or ultimately try to get people to go to your shopping cart and check out, you run Google ads you send people to your site, but then you try to get people to check out on Amazon because they're going to convert better doing that than trying to get them to check out on your site, or at least offering them the option to check out on Amazon. And in some cases, we send them directly from Google directly to Amazon and convert better that way. Because of this whole, I don't trust your brand, but I trust Amazon, plus I have my card actually saved on my Amazon account, so I'm more likely to, it's less work for me to buy and, 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 there, and, and therefore I'll, I'm willing to buy. So in a lot of cases for people that sell an inexpensive item, we're gonna just push them to Amazon because that's the way to get it to convert. Well, it's not easier to convert on Target because the chances are they probably aren't, a, you know, have bought from Target.com before, which that'll change in the future, but it's trusted, so Whereas I wasn't sure to, if I wanted to cough up my credit card for this $20 broom here on XYZ.com, I'm fine with it on Target.com. So it can make a shopping campaign on Google work and get a, a, uh, an ROI or even a better ROI than what you could do with your own sh Google shopping campaign on your own, okay? So you're borrowing their trust of their brand. It could replace what you're doing on Google it can replace what you're doing on YouTube. It can replace what you're doing on Facebook and so forth. So with that said, I had a client who had a skincare brand 
And with that, we were running the product ads and also the targeted display ads, as I was mentioning before, because those, what works, always works, and what worked for them. We actually got an 8% lift in their total product sales at their company once we got their stuff going and advertised using these product ads and the targeted display ads of their own once it was maxed out, so, which is a pretty significant amount considering we were already selling on our website, selling on um, walmart.com, selling on amazon.com, and uh, you know, of course selling in other ways like on Google and Facebook to drive traffic to their site. So there was a, there's a lot of action there. In other words, just to give you a idea of how much volume is there getting this to work for your brand and getting on tar the target platform. Uh, beyond that, second example of a case study here, we had a clothing brand which was able to get, the, going back to what I was saying before about the search ads, they were not only able to get like a 250% return on account spend at ROAS or ROI running ads on Google, at least for people who are not customers yet or have been a customer, have bought from this brand before, which it just wasn't really worth it for the company too much, or it's not to do too much of it anyway. Of course, if you're in that kind of situation, you should look at the lifetime value of a customer and realize that what you pay for a customer through Google, you might even not make money on, on that first purchase, but you'll get it back on the second, third, fourth, and so forth purchases, which in a lot of spaces, you have to think about that that way. Otherwise, you're never gonna make anything work, because at least on Google, because the bigger brands are looking at things that way, and if you don't wanna look at things that way, you can't afford to be there. So, but, you know, 250% ROI was, if you look at lifetime value, it is worth it, but still not great. We got, we pumped that up to an 850% ROI slash roar as advertising on Target's Google Ads account. Why? Because it's a relatively inexpensive item. We're talking about 20 to $50 average cost per item. And it has the Target branding on the ad and it's on target.com people are trusting that they can and they can order through there so it made the difference as to whether or not that that front end you know some selling to customers that weren't a customer yet made the difference also you know you get to use google excuse me google targets uh history that they built up with their search campaign because they spend you know, millions of dollars a month on these shopping ads. So when you get your product on their feed, Google's gonna take it more seriously right away. And they also could take the data from other people that are selling products using their feed and so forth. So there's something there, but it could make a considerable difference in what, you know, if you say Google ads don't work for your brand, you get Target to run it for you. You can get it to work for your brand. Now that the Target name is on the product and you're using Target's website, which is trusted, plus they've got millions of dollars of investment in making the checkout and the product pages and everything look very trusted and streamlined and everything else. So you got that. Now, um, those are the two case studies I had for you. I also obviously mentioned the hair regrowth product company, which was able to run ads on social media and so forth with Target's name on them and also do well as well. So. There's a lot of different opportunities there. Those are the main ones that I would uh, recommend to you. If you wanted to check out more, go ahead and search for Roundel uh, and see the different ad types you can run, um, not only on, on um, actual target.com, but on other websites. Because the whole idea behind it is, is through this Roundel program, is you're gonna get in front of target customers, not only just on target, but elsewhere on the web. You can, so they'll let you get in front of target customers who are not even on target social media, but on elsewhere on Facebook, elsewhere on the web, which isn't a big, big plus, unless you're a huge brand, it's not that exciting because technically somebody who shops at Target is probably, if you sell a premium product at a premium price, more likely to buy your product than an average everyday person that you don't know, that d doesn't shop at Target already but it's not gonna give you so much of an edge on everybody else with your advertising that it'll make a night and day difference in what you're doing. So 
you know, marketing to a Target customer versus a uh, Walmart customer. If you, you know, obviously a lot of times Target customers, if you're selling something that's again pr premium price, is going to convert better. But it's not so much better that when you look at getting that ad, just the fact that you know they're a Target customer isn't going to be obviously enough to make an ad work, unless you sell it, are selling a mass marketed product that's already hot and can be shown to random, you know, any Target buyer and probably would make money. Uh, in that case, maybe it is an opportunity for you, but most of you guys need very targeted advertising to get a return on an investment. If you sell a hair regrowth product, you need to get in front of people that are in market for a hair regrowth product in some shape or form or fashion. And just getting in front of a target customer on the web isn't going to be good enough. So in that case, it wouldn't work. If you were selling uh, candy bars during Halloween time, that would be a different story because almost everybody needs that at that particular time. And just having the ability to get in front of a targeted buyer that shops at Target might actually help you. So anyway, I won't go too much more into detail on that since 99.9% .9 of you guys don't need that. But these are some opportunities for you. Get on your Target, absolutely would do that for your brand. And then if you're struggling to make money on social, on search, consider having Target do it for you. Or if you're at a plateau, test out and see if they can do it even better for you. So with that said, I'll wrap it up with that though. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you like the content, I have, first of all, you should consider some, uh, giving the video a like as I really appreciate that for the time that it takes me to put this content together. But I also have tons of other content on this channel about how to make money with online advertising on Google, Facebook, pretty much everything that's out there given. All I do 40 hours a week for clients at my firm is work on strategy for their ad accounts. I have a team of people that help execute for us and our clients, but I'm just doing strategy for our clients full time. I test things out. We have dozens of ad accounts that we're, where we're testing certain things on an ongoing basis to bring you the content on this channel. So therefore, if you wanna make millions of dollars with your ads, this is the channel you wanna pay attention to because it has all the working strategies on it. Better, it, it's better information that you're gonna find from random YouTubers who don't do, don't run an advertising firm and don't test things. And they're just making money off courses or whatnot, which is a bunch of BS information most of the time, frankly. So, and if you like the channel, I also got a blog at guaranteeppc.com slash blog where you can get writing for myself on other methods that you can use to make money with online ads. I also have a a column at entrepreneur.com. If you want to search me out, you can find other excellent information in written form for me there as well. If you have any questions about anything I covered or any ad related question, really, leave me a comment below. I get back to every single person who leaves me a comment on this channel, usually within a couple of days time. Uh, with that, if you're looking for somebody to just help you do the stuff that I talk about on this channel and you want to make money, we have a guaranteed PPC slash ad management service where we don't take fees from our clients until we get you more sales results on your campaign or additional leads on your campaign. Uh, with that, you have to have a great product or service for us to want to be able to and can work with you. But if you do have something great and you just needs, you have weak marketing, we would be happy to step up and see if we can get you a result. At the very least, if you reach out to my firm, I'll get you an assessment on how much sales results I can get your company which is free and if we can work together i'll tell you how much results i can provide you before we take a fee at all and of course what we can make for you long term so it'd be helpful for you to see if we can work together and get an assessment on what's possible at the very very least you should, you should reach out to me if i've worked in your market already by the way and you don't want to work with an ad agency per se like ours or in general you can use our campaign templates to make money we've sold are campaign templates that work in certain markets for people in plumbing, or they sell, or uh, they're looking for people that want to sell their houses for cash. Numbers of different markets out there like that, where we sell the campaign templates that work in that market. The templates, the uh, the ad templates, the campaign templates, the landing page templates that get results in that market, and we can tell that client that wants to use them what the results in the market that we're already getting. So when you buy the templates, you already know what results you can get with those templates. And it makes having to make multi-million dollar a year results in your market so much easier given we've already spent the years and time and money to invest in that campaign template that they're using. 
for you. You just have to use what works and literally copy and paste results into your ad accounts with it. So if you're in a market we've worked in already, which I've worked in 100 plus markets before, it'd be silly not to use our templates. We charge one time, uh, a one-time fee for those templates and you get those results, it's, it's turnkey results. Enough so where we also had people use the templates to start another parallel business to what they're doing and sell those leads or whatnot to other people and you know take 10% of the sales price of, of what those leads and those jobs generate and as a passive income style business. So anyway, if you're curious about that, you can reach out to me. I'll let you know what we got, what results we got, and what markets we got them in. But with that, I'll wrap it up. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you on the next video where we have another great strategy for you to make some more money. See you then.